Welcome to Team B Farm! Welcome back to Team B Farm, everybody. If you are new here, my name is Carly and I am here with Bug, who is nine years old. And today is going to be a fun video. It is do a nature study with us. This video is hosted by Abby at Rooted and Rest and Jessica at the Waldock Way. I will link their channels down below. They are both homeschooling mamas who are full of wisdom and information. This is also part of a playlist, which will also be linked down below. And uh, if you check out the playlist, you'll be able to see lots of different ways to do nature study. Cool. Yeah, it's gonna be a fun one to watch, isn't it? Yep. Now. Today, we are going to show you how we do nature study in our family, and let me tell you, it is very simple. All you need is some kind of drawing notebook. A nature notebook. Yeah, we call it a nature notebook for each of your children. And some helpful books. Some nonfiction books. We recommend having an animal encyclopedia. This is the DK Encyclopedia of Animals. And the other thing that we love and use are these nature anatomy. This one's farm anatomy, although it's looking a little rough. This one's food anatomy. And food anatomy. These are all by Julia Roth Rothman and we use them often for nature study. So the way that we do nature study is we choose a topic based on what's going on around us in nature. So we have something exciting going on around us right now. What's happening, Bug? Winter winter but there is something in the river sea lions. <laughs> sea lions so where we live the smelt come in smelt are tiny little fish if you don't know and they come into the river during this time of the year and along with them come the sea lions and the seals and bald eagles so and the seagulls Yes, and lots of seagulls. So we have gone a few times as a family to the river to check them out, but today we're going to do it as a whole nature study. Um, so the way that we will do this is in this book, there was a whole page. Oops, I should have marked that. Huh? About seals and sea lions. All right, luckily for us in this book, there was a whole page on seals and sea lions. So we will spend a little bit of time reading this while we are checking out the river to see if there's any seals and sea lions. And hopefully we'll be able to spot some for you to see. They were in the river just the other day when we drove by. And then the girls will take their nature notebooks with some colored pencils and they will draw a picture to remind them of what they saw. So the purpose of this nature notebook is so we can look back. So, um, Let's see, here is a signs of fall. I'm not sure whose nature notebook I grabbed here, but they drew a tree that they had seen in fall and drew the different signs. So the purpose of this nature notebook is for them to be able to look back on and uh, jog their memory on what they've learned. So join along and I hope you have lots of fun. With their smooth streamlined body, seals and sea lions are mammals that are superb swimmers. We know that, right? Instead of feet, they have and with a thick layer of blubber, which is fat under their skin, they keep warm and eat in the coldest polar waters. We did a science experiment, I think last year, where you stuck your hand into ice water and it was freezing cold. You guys remember that? Yeah, what did we do? And, and then we put a layer of oil and a plastic bag, so it was like a layer of blubber in there and you couldn't feel the cold. So that's what seals and sea lions have around um, them. I remember loving putting my feet in that. <laughs> the blubber, but it kept your hand warm, and that's what seals and sea lions have. Dad, is it poking out? Because it's not going to jump. Okay, that sounds great, baby. Mom. Yes, honey. I learned. Never mind. Mom. Go ahead. I learned. I learned something really fascinating about sea lions. What? Seals. I learned that they have their pups on land. Yeah. All right, so here, this picture right over here, it says a sea lion shuffles its way towards a breeding colony 
on one of the Galapagos Islands off of the south. This is Bug's picture. You can see all these seals and sea lions and she has some bald eagles. We didn't get to see this many today, but we've been observing them for the last couple of weeks, so. <laughs> this is mine. You can see that this is a sea lion. Here's the water. You can see that this is the sky. Oh, and did I show you that there is a tail over here? Do you want me to show you the whole picture? Is that a bit too far? <laughs> Belly, what's something that you learned today? Well, do you want to, do you want to know how sea lions can keep warm and cold? How do they? Well, they have something in their body called blubber, and they can keep warm in really cold water. You are so right. Good job, sis. How you doing, Bear? Great. Oh. This is Bear, and here's my drawing. It's not really brownish because the the brown was really soft nice. and it didn't work. And here's another one I made a couple of weeks ago, I think. Here are the sea lions and those little fish are smelt. You can see the sun up there too. <laughs> With us. I haven't seen a new seal, but we have seen a pretty rainbow. Can you see it? Okay, we hope that you enjoyed doing nature study with us. If you are new here, we would love it if you would subscribe to our video. We, As you saw, we are a homeschooling family of four girls. We have a baby on the way. Um, we would love if you check out our channel. It's full of vlogs and homeschool content along with farm and just general family life. So have a great day and we'll catch you next time. Bye.